Have you ever felt the overwhelming burden of emotional attachment, feeling trapped in a cycle of attachment that seems impossible to break free from? It's a common struggle that can leave you feeling powerless and stuck. But here's the silver lining. Change is not only possible, but well within your reach. Drawing wisdom from ancient Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca, we will uncover the key to mastering the art of detachment and breaking free from the emotional chains that bind us. In this transformative video, we will explore the profound principles of Stoicism to guide you on a journey towards emotional freedom. By applying these timeless teachings, you will discover practical and healthy strategies to detach from someone or something that weighs heavily on your mind. Say goodbye to the mental shackles of attachment and embrace a newfound sense of clarity and focus on what truly matters in your life. If you believe in the power of personal growth and are ready to break free from the chains of emotional attachment, then this video is for you. Let's begin. 1. The Power of Detachment Why is detachment important? Think about it. When we cling too tightly to people or situations, they begin to control us. It's like giving someone else the remote to your feelings, letting them flip through the channels at will. Their influence can dictate your happiness, your sadness, and in extreme cases, can drive people to make irreversible decisions. Detaching doesn't mean you stop caring. It means you're assigning the proper weight to things outside your control. Imagine your emotions are like a kite. Now this might seem odd, but stick with me. Every string attached to something or someone represents a potential direction your emotions can be pulled. If you hold on to too many strings or hold one too tightly, you're at the mercy of the wind. Stoicism teaches us to loosen our grip, to understand that while we can't control the wind, we can decide which strings to hold. This doesn't make you cold or indifferent, it makes you grounded and resilient. Let's get a bit more practical. Start by identifying what or who you're overly attached to. Next, ask yourself, why? Are you seeking validation, afraid of loneliness? or something else. Understanding the root of your attachment is the first step in loosening its grip. Now, engage in activities that fill you with a sense of purpose and satisfaction. The goal here is to rebuild the foundation of your happiness on your own capability, not on external affirmations. This is how you cultivate stoic resilience by finding contentment and strength within yourself, irrespective of external circumstances. Remember, detachment doesn't make you less empathetic or compassionate, nor does it make you devoid of feelings or connections. On the contrary, it allows you to offer genuine care without draining yourself. It teaches you to love without losing yourself in the process. This stoic practice doesn't just apply to people, it's about detaching from outcomes too. Strive for excellence, but don't hinge your self-worth on the results. When you detach in a healthy way, you grant yourself the freedom to experience life's full spectrum without letting any single experience or person anchor you down. Detachment in its essence sets you free. 2. Understanding attachment. You need to realize that when you're attached to something, you are operating from your ego. Let's strip things back to basics. We are creatures of love at our core. Think about a newborn baby, radiating joy, untouched by the complexities of ego. Yet, as we age, our ego takes the driver's seat, cluttering our lives with attachments. These attachments, whether to people or ideals, cloud our judgment and distract us from our essence which is love. Remember this, attachment is the game of the ego, the very antithesis of love and self-contentment. If we step back and view our desires and connections through this lens, 
we begin to see the unnecessary weight they add to our lives. Now, envision a life lived from a place of love, not ego. Imagine the freedom of not clinging desperately to outcomes, people or statuses. Living from love allows you to trust in abundance, to genuinely believe that what's meant for you will find its way. This isn't about wishful thinking. It's about a deep-seated belief in your personal value and capabilities. It empowers you to let go, to recognize that attachments are merely anchors limiting the vast ocean you're meant to explore. So how do we start to untangle ourselves from these anchors? Begin by acknowledging the attachment. See it for what it is. A product of your ego seeking security and validation. Next, shift your perspective. Understand that your worth isn't tied to this attachment. Your essence, your core, is enough. This understanding doesn't occur overnight. It's a deliberate practice, a conscious choice to prioritize your inner peace over external validation. Finally, embrace the concept of abundance. When you let go of the fear of loss, the universe has a way of rewarding you with more than what was let go. Detachment doesn't mean you care less. It means you understand better. It means staying true to your essence. Letting love guide you rather than fear. The journey towards detachment is transformative. It's about shedding layers of the ego to uncover the resilient, love-filled soul beneath. It's about moving forward with lightness, free from the burdens of attachment, ready to welcome new blessings with open arms and a steadfast heart. 3. The Illusion of the Ego Sometimes our ego makes us believe that we're not good enough or that another person's grass is greener, leading us into a trap where we emotionally cling to others for validation. This misconception often leads us to idolize individuals, placing them on a pedestal as if they possess something unattainable. Yet when stripped down to our essence in life's critical moments, we realize no one holds a special ticket. We're all equally vulnerable equally human. It's crucial then to confront this illusion head on, to see it for the mirage it is, and not let it distort our perception of ourselves or others. Let's talk self-confidence and inner healing for a second. It's okay to remind yourself that you're amazing, special and unique. It's a healthy practice for building self-esteem and nurturing your inner child. However, embracing this mindset doesn't mean viewing others as less than or separating yourself from the collective human experience. Instead, it's about recognizing that while we each have our unique paths, no single path is inherently superior to another. Our stories are interwoven threads in the larger tapestry of life, each as significant as the next. Now, onto the subject of detachment, Particularly in relationships, it's easy to fall into the lack mindset, fearing the loss of someone unique and irreplaceable. This thought pattern is a direct offspring of our ego, whispering lies of scarcity and limitation. In truth, enforcing emotional detachment is not about denying feelings or becoming indifferent, but about embracing the abundance of the universe and our capacity for love. It's acknowledging that while someone can be special to us, our completeness doesn't rely on their presence. This realization liberates us from fear-based attachment, empowering us to love freely without clinging desperately. Finally, resonating with the Stoic philosophy, it's invaluable to practice seeing every individual, including ourselves, through a lens of equality. Everyone we meet, everyone we might lose, plays their role in our journey, just as we play in theirs, but no role is indispensable. By internalizing this, we cultivate a profound emotional strength that prepares us to face life's uncertainties with grace. The Stoics taught us the importance of focusing on what we can control, our perceptions, actions, and will. In applying this to relationships and detachment, 
we find a path to genuine peace and resilience, shedding the illusions cast by our ego and embracing the liberating truth of our shared humanity. 4. Detachment in Practice The thing is, you have to be willing to let go of past experiences. You have to be willing to let go of past relationships, right? It's like holding on to a rope so tight that your hands start to hurt, but you're scared to let go because you don't know what will happen if you do. Let me tell you, letting go doesn't mean you fall. Sometimes it means you can finally stretch your hands, reach out and grab something even better. I had to learn this the hard way when I clung on to a comfortable relationship because it felt safe, not realizing I was shutting doors to potential happiness that was knocking on my door. Here's another truth bomb. Fear of missing out, or FOMO as we call it, is a trap. It's like watching everyone else's highlight reel on social media while you think you're missing out on life. But it's not real life, it's a curated, filtered snapshot meant to showcase a perfect moment. Once I stopped scrolling through everyone else's stories and started living my own, FOMO lost its grip on me. Not knowing every detail of someone else's life doesn't mean you're missing out. It means you're fully present in your own life, making memorable moments that belong to you and you alone. Attachment to a false image of happiness can make letting go seem impossible. You see others living their best life and fear that you're falling behind, that you might never have what they have. But remember, grass only looks greener from a distance. Up close you'll see it has its share of brown patches too. Creating an illusion of perfection in someone else's life steals joy from your own. It's like running on a treadmill trying to catch up to a hologram. No matter how fast you go, you'll never reach it because it's not real. Detachment isn't about giving up happiness. It's about defining it on your own terms. So, to emotionally detach, follow the Stoic principle. Focus on what's within your control, your thoughts, your actions, your growth. It's empowering to realize that no one's opinion, no past relationship, not even a shiny filtered life on social media has the power to define your worth or your happiness. This realization is your armor. It allows you to move forward, unburdened by unnecessary attachments, free to experience life in all its unpredictable glory and open to the genuine, fulfilling connections that are waiting just around the corner. Remember, letting go isn't an end. It's a bold step toward the life you truly deserve. 5. The Path to Happiness Where does true value come from? It's a question that, when answered, can pivot us away from unnecessary attachments and towards a state of emotional freedom. Understanding this concept is particularly crucial when the challenge is to detach from someone, a process deeply ingrained in the principles of Stoicism. It's not about severing ties with malice or indifference, but about recognizing that the most profound form of companionship you'll ever possess is the one you have with yourself. True value, as it turns out, stems from within, your character, your wisdom, how you treat others. It's easy to think that happiness is locked in someone else's presence in our lives, that our worth climbs with their approval or dips with their neglect. However, this mindset chains us, reducing our vast potentials to the whims of another. Like a bird believing it needs permission to fly, we limit our emotional skies. Imagine instead, realizing that the sky has always been open, waiting for you to spread your wings on your own terms. This self-reliance is liberating, teaching us that our value does not fluctuate with others' opinions or presence. Detachment, therefore, isn't an act of pushing someone away, but drawing ourselves closer to our essence. By focusing on personal growth, on becoming the best versions of ourselves, we unshackle from the heavy weight of neediness. 
It's akin to nurturing a garden. You wouldn't plead for a single flower to grow. You tend to the soil, water the plants, and trust in the natural process. In focusing on self-improvement, we cultivate a garden that blooms regardless of who chooses to walk through it or admire its beauty. This nurturing becomes a source of happiness that's independent, resilient, and profoundly rewarding. So how do we tread this path of emotional detachment? It starts with the understanding that you are complete with or without someone's affirmation. Your journey is about discovering the expanses of your own sky, learning to love the freedom that comes from flying solo when necessary. Embrace Stoicism's wisdom. Focus on what's within your control, your thoughts, your actions, your growth. This doesn't mean closing your heart or turning a blind eye to love and connection. It means securing your emotional anchor in the steady ground of your being. Remember, your self-worth isn't a puzzle missing someone else's piece. It's a masterpiece in progress, complete as is, yet open to adding more beauty from the world around it. All right, thank you for tuning in, and I hope this brought some insights into your day. If this resonated with you or sparked a thought, hit that like button, and if not, that's okay too. Your perspective is always valued here, and for those eager to dive deeper into the journey of personal growth, we've got a special bonus for you, an exclusive free gift, exploring three stoic rules for a fulfilling life. Check out the link in the description to claim yours. Finally, do you have thoughts on emotional detachment or insights from your own experiences? We'd love to hear from you in the comments. Plus, if you know someone who could benefit from today's topic, feel free to share this video with them. Until next time, let's spread the wisdom and support each other.